Hello guys and welcome back to all my subscribers and viewers. Thank you again for watching and fellow YouTubers. This is uh, going to be an, an informative as possible I can uh, to, sh to show how to properly breed your, uh, bleed your brake system. Uh, your brake fluid requires some attention after a couple years, maybe th near two, three years. It's recommended by your uh, owner's manual. Uh, how to properly, how to you know, re replace the brake fluid in your car. Now, some people take a little, uh, uh, you know, a little uh, squeegee into their brake reservoir and just squeeze the shit out, and then you put it back in again. You put brake fluid in again. Well, that's not really the proper way to do it. You guess you can just mix the new fluid into the old fluid, but in my case, uh, I'm taking this this Honda here, this is my S2000. Now, it's typically the same as that concept for all cars. This is not particular, you know, any particular vehicle has a different method to do it. It's all really the same. You just got to find your bleeder valve, which I'm going to show you, and get a little kit here. You get a brake bleeder kit with vacuum pump. I got this, on, I'm not advertising here for Hopper Freight, but only for 25 bucks you get a little bleeder kit. You can also get it on Amazon too. They're very cheap. Instead of going to like, this is right here. This is your little pump. It gives a little pressure gauge right there and your little canister here. All the old brake fluid should go right in here, as we're going to do it here. So there'd be a lot of pumping. It's going to be a boring video of me just pumping some fluid out and just showing you how it's done properly. Before we do this here, I filled up my brake reservoir. I will hold the camera here to make some noise. I filled up my brake reservoir with this stuff here. This stuff here is really good stuff here. This is a ATE uh, Type 200 racing quality brake fluid is dot four dot four which means dot three and four just means it has a higher boiling point so the brake fluid can withstand temperatures up to 650 degrees fahrenheit dot three is a little bit lower maybe 150 degrees lower 450 but the reason why i'm doing it for because i'm taking my my honda to the racetrack and i don't want any of the old brake fluid in there i want to have proper brakes so i can be safe on the track and not have any kind of uh, problems with it with my braking system. It's very important that I need good brakes and have a high have good quality brake fluid in there to really you know to get the full advantage I can uh, use of the ABS system. I don't want anything to overheat or have any issues. Basically, you want to remove this cap here and take out. I've already put the new stuff in there. You just replace it. That's just your brake master cylinder here. My brake fluid is pretty clean now. I've been doing the um, the brakes as we speak. I've been doing all the tires. You have to go around and make sure. All the fluid is out. You get the brown crap out, and you put the new. Oh, once the hose starts get, gathering new fluid from the hose, you'll know when to stop. You don't want to keep draining the fluid out. There's new fluid in there. Just leave it in there. I'm gonna show you here my, my little trusty light. Okay, I stopped on the box. So here is the drain valve right here. This is the brake fluid valve. Wow, this is can be can get any worse than this. The little thing right here. This here. You gotta be kidding me. There's a whole shadow on where I want to point the camera. You want to, this is the, uh, that's your rubber thing here. You want to keep that rubber on at all points at all times. You replace this rubber thing here. Once you take it out, this is your bleed valve right there. Very easy. You was to stick a hose there. You pretty much just stick this hose line in here like so. Boom. Look at that, how easy that is. You take one little rubber thing out, and boom, you can get to bleed your own brakes. Now, the only tools you need here, I'll show you what you need over here. A nice 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter wrench. Oh, sorry about that, the light. Now, this 10 millimeter wrench can be purchased pretty much anywhere. AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, Pep Boys. You can get it online, 10 millimeter. Now, typically, all the, all the, um, all the bleeder valves are pretty much the same. A 10 millimeter, maybe could be 10 or maybe 13, maybe around there. But typically all of them are really the same. It's the same concept of doing it, you know? Like I mentioned before, all the cars are really the same. Same thing with big trucks, monster trucks, race cars, sports cars. It's mostly all the same. I'm gonna put my light on over here so you guys can see the, um, the image quality here. Let me see if I can do this here. Then you have to have the car lifted up, of course, uh, safely. This video does not tell you how to do that. I'm not showing you guys how to do that. That's You gotta be really, really safe about it and, and have a friend over to help you guys out. You gotta put the car in jack stand. You don't have to take off the tires for this. I did this for instructional purposes only to be more informative about how the whole system here is. 
You can also check out your brakes, see how much mean you have on your pads when you do this too. Check out your suspension. Obviously this suspension here is pretty good. You can check here. These are my, um, my bushings. All your bushings here are in good shape. You can do a pre-trip inspection here. So basically you just start pumping it. Hopefully we get some fluid going in here. Oh, yep. Oh, the thing I forgot to do is turn the screw. I forgot to turn it. You turn it just a little bit, start getting the fluid out there. I'm not sure if you can see it here. Hopefully you can see it here. You turn it a few clockwise. I just turned it this way and now it's all coming out. Now you don't want to turn this nut too much because then you have air pressure going inside. You just want to have it just right to open it up. Now as you see here, if you can see my fluid over here, it's actually pretty clean if you can see it. Because I did this one already too. I've been doing this for the past couple uh, hour now. Bleeding the brace, getting the old crap out, putting the new stuff in. You know, I have a like, I don't know, I think I have OCD, I'm OCD in this job here. I just want to have all my brake fluids, you know, good and be, you know, really safe out there when I'm doing high speeds and braking. You want to have good fluid in there because really the brakes are the most important thing of a car is brakes and tires. And of course your suspension too. That's how you rely on everything, you know. As you see here, you can tell from, the, from this image here that those are The brake fluid right there. I'm gonna try to hold it and pump and see if I can do that. Now, if you get any of the brake fluid anywhere, this stuff is highly corrosive. You guys gotta really clean up that mess right away. Highly corrosive stuff here. As you see here, when I'm pumping it, it comes right out. See that? Pretty cool, very easy. I'm trying to get the um, I don't want to have the camera here with the shadow, which is ridiculous. I can't believe it. I can't believe this with the shadow. Simply insane. Here we go. Nice quality there. The brake bleed allows you open it up a little bit, counterclockwise, a half a turn, and all the stuff just comes right out. Now when it gets gold like this, now it's pretty gold, as you see here. It's very gold, which is good. Gold is good. Then pretty much you just stop when it gets gold. Okay, so before I did this, before I had this game going over here, it was um it was already very brown. So I used the pump, I kept pumping it up, you kept pumping it, you have to keep pumping it until the stuff comes out gold. So initially when you start it, oh my god, my goodness. Initially when you want to start this job here, you want to have, you want to have proper illumination of course, proper illuminated. Uh, I'm wearing a little, uh, you know, for, uh, a little head cam there, head, uh, headlight. Yeah, I guess I'm wearing a headlight, I suppose that makes sense. And. Uh, you, when you first start, you turn it, you make sure you have the hose on that bleeder nipple, the bleeding valve. You want to put it, you want to put this, uh, this plastic hose around the nipple there, and then you open it, turn it kind of clockwise just a little bit, about half a turn, and then just stop pumping and the brake. You can also do a gravity bleed, which is some people just open it and let it bleed out. It takes a long time. You have to have, I think, multiple cans around the tires and stuff. They have multiple hoses. Pumping it is really good too, but you have to make sure that your brake reservoir is always full on a full level. You never want to. You never want. Oh yeah, mine just came out here. See, it just came out. Now I'm going to turn it. Make sure it's tight. See, you always, always keep a rag handy. Very important too. You want to keep a terry cloth handy or something, some kind of any kind of rag. My thing just popped off there. I wasn't paying attention. So when you move around. Some of them have also um, accessories where you can put it over the nipple and connect the hose to it. Mine didn't really fit, so you could just put the plastic hose right over the little bleeder nipple and you'll be fine. Just make sure you have a nice uh, grasp on it too. Make sure you're holding it in place, you don't keep moving around, you know, any kind of like, any kind of moving around with, with your hands and, and the, and the uh, bleeder, the bleeder valve vacuum can cause a mess. You can pop it right off. I hope this video was uh, helpful to you guys. That's how you properly uh, bleed your brakes. Uh, any co questions, comments down below. Feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching.